Peace. Um, I just want to continue from my previous video. My video got cut short because of my SD card. It was too um, it was too much on my SD card, so I had to delete some things. But anyways, back to what I was saying. A black woman doesn't want a black man who's soft, first and foremost. She wants a black man that's equipped, knows what he wants, and know where he's headed, and know where he's going. The worst thing in this world is to have a be in a relationship and the man's confused. That just makes the reflection of the woman even worse because she's going to be in a state of confusion where she doesn't even want to deal with you because you're confusing her because you don't know where you're going. So like I'm telling you, most people make promises that they can't keep. Always remember this. Always uphold your promise because at the end of the day, when it comes to you taking care of a woman, she's going to look for you towards that. She's going to look towards that. She's going to look towards you for that. Because if you're the protector and the provider, you're supposed to be able to provide and show her that you'll be able to protect her through any situation or circumstance. Now, don't get me wrong nowadays. Sometimes it does get a little to deal with some black women nowadays because sometimes women even confuse themselves on what they want. You know, they may be saying, I want a man that provides. You know, a man with a master plan instead of a boy with a toy. But, you know, that's just the fact of life. That's what, that's what any woman, I don't care who you are, any woman. If a woman wants what she wants, then she's going to get what she wants. And at the end of the day, if you can't provide it, then you got to keep on moving. You know, same thing with me. You know, if I can't provide for my woman and my children, then how am I as good? How am I good to them? I'm no good to them. And that's just a fact. You know, I'm not sugarcoating. I'm not hiding it. Because the worst thing for you to do is to leave a relationship knowing that you ain't do shit. That's just true talk. You know, but you know, like I said, be successful in your undertaking by upholding your promise. You know, Yakub didn't build prison houses to imprison his people, and sometimes that's what most original men do. They imprison themselves by saying and putting limitations on themselves by saying, "Oh, uh, oh man, I got a felony. It's hard. I mean, everything is hard in life. It's nothing supposed to be made easy." Nothing is never easy. Nothing is given to you. You have to work hard for it in this wilderness in North America. Because at the end of the day, when you when it pays off, you see the rewards of your labor. Basically. So you get all bent out of shape, you know, just be determined, have drive, and have desire. And those are the three D's. Des determination, desire, and drive. Well, there's one more, and dedication. Dedicate your life to upholding your promises. Take care of your business and handle it as a man. Because at the end of the day, when your woman looks at you, she's going to honor and respect you. You know, so that's just really basically what I wanted to build on about, you know, the, about today being wisdom and the supreme alphabet. Taking care of your black woman and upholding your promise. Because your useful land depends on you. To take care of it. If you don't till the soil and cultivate your land, what's going to happen? It's going to end up dying out. And it's going to end up withering away. So, whatever you choose to do is the choice that you're going to go with. I trust and will that all of this that I have said has gotten to the point where you acknowledge it, take heed, and absorb it. So, so do I. And just speaking of myself. This all applies itself, you know. And another thing before I, I, I disperse and go have to take care of some business. The wisdom understanding degree and the one of thirty six says, I can hardly believe that unless unless they be blind, deaf and dumb. Now in order for a person to be made blind, deaf and dumb, they have to, you know, force themselves to not know a lot of stuff. And force themselves to put themselves in a position where they have to not only act like they don't know, but have people guide them. Being blind, deaf, and dumb is just like not seeing, speaking, or hearing, you know, the truth. Because wisdom understanding is all being born of what? Power. Power is the truth. How would you take Jerusalem from the devil if you don't know how? You don't have wisdom, nor do you have understanding because the wisdom that you have... It's not the wisdom that's bearing fruit. So, all I gotta say is, handle your business as a man, black man, and take care of your woman. Because if you don't take care of someone else, will. That's just the facts of life.
Peace.